Oh god, it's like the Sunday stroll all over again. Um, so today, guys, is the uh, 15th of July, it's Saturday, and it's a very, very special day. I'm actually going to pick up a certain someone, um, who you will see later on in this video. Um, yeah, a very, very special day. I'm very excited. I'm actually on my way up to the charity shop. Well, it's actually down there. Down there. Um, but... I wanted to record this little intro quickly as well, just to give you a little bit of a, um, an insight, really. Um, but yeah, it, it's something that I've been wanting for like eight years. And every time I ask my and dad for it, whether it be at Christmas or birthdays, um, they always said, no, no, we, we don't want that, we don't want this, you know, all that sort of stuff. Um, and I've asked for many things over the years, and they've never said yes to it, really. But um, yeah, due to certain circumstances, which I will talk, you know, talk about a little bit more later on in the video, um, I've actually managed to get one, which is quite cool, and that's what we're doing today. So I'm just going to head up to the charity shop now, and um, yeah, and then I'll uh, show you what it is, basically. So guys, as promised, there's a new addition to the family, and here she comes, boisterous as ever. So there she is. I'm not going to put the camera right in her face because, whoa, she is pretty much the fieriest one out of her little, um, her little bunch of kittens, her brothers and sisters and stuff. She's for some reason going back in her little travel cage. Um, I am trying to be a little bit quieter than I normally would because I did read online that when, you know, when a cat is just coming into a new environment, the... Uh, don't like you know loud noises and things like that. We we want things nice and calm. Um, but as you can see, she is a fiery little uh, girl, and she's absolutely lovely. She's already started purring and exploring, as you can see. Um, yeah, it's just it's just amazing. I've, I've I've always wanted a pet of some sort, and yeah, this is just a dream come true, really. There she goes. You can probably hear her purring. Whee! And there she goes out the door. We've got, we've basically got a food temporary there and a little tray there just in case, just over like around this area. Oh, she's gone under the bed. She's having a play with that little ball there. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> She's literally been in the house about 20 minutes and she's already feeling happy and she just looks like she's having a whale of a time. You gonna smile for the camera? Oh, you are as well! Whee! <laughs> I did tell you she was fiery. Perfect fit for me, those of you who will know me. Wow! Watch me. She seems to have uh, done her first little wee. Don't know what she's trying to do now though. Is she covering it up? Now she's scrapping with a towel and she's gone off again. And she's uh, made it all the way downstairs already. Try and give you a better view. Electra! Electra! What? <laughs> hey, Electra! Oh. No, don't, don't use that. Don't use that as a play toy. Wait. Oh, now I've started filming. You've stopped playing, haven't you? Oh, there you go. 
Are you going to play for the camera? You're done with it now. No. So while she uh, tears that mouse to shreds, I thought I would do a little bit of a reselling haul video. I think we're in focus now. Um, so yeah, I, I took a punt on a few little vintage bits today. Um, I got this little sort of scientific instrument or mathematical instrument set for five ninety nine. Um, it's J Harden and Co. I don't know if you're going to see that very well. London and Manchester. There is one thing missing out of here, and there's, but but there is actually one extra piece. I believe this is the extra piece, and then there's I think one of those missing that's meant to be there. Don't know whether there's meant to be three of those, but yeah, something missing anyway. One thing missing. Um, yeah, I paid five ninety nine for it. I've looked on completing the sold. I believe uh, well two similar ones have gone. Uh, same company, pretty much sa same uh, set really, just maybe a couple of extras in it or a couple of different bits in it. Uh, one's gone for 20 quid and one's gone for £28 plus postage. So, I don't know with the thing missing, I don't know how much that's going to affect it. I'll probably go for sort of in the middle, 25 quid plus postage, something like that. And I'd be happy with that from... Um, you know, from my £6 investment, I'll obviously chuck in the, the extra piece that I've got. I don't think that goes with this set, but I'll chuck it in anyway. Um, here, I don't know how well I'm going to be able to get this out, but I'll just quickly sort of pull it out um, as best I can. So this is, a, I believe it's an AG, yeah, AG Thornton uh, and Company, or AG Thornton Limited uh, slide rule. Um, and I was thinking this had better value than it does. Um, I paid five quid on it. Uh, I'm not really too sure, to be honest. I might be looking at 15 quid sort of uh, bottom end, maybe 20 quid. It, it's not going to be a fantastic profit on that. But for taking a punt, you know, I'm, I'm happy with that. At least I'm going to be making some profit on it. Um, and I am still fairly new to sort of uh, vintage and antique items, so I'm still happy with that for just taking a pump. Four ninety nine, as I say, probably about fifteen to twenty quid in that, so not not terrible. Um, something I've not actually re researched, but I paid six quid for it. Uh, is this Plymouth? I think it's called Plymouth. Um, little, I think it's a camping stove or something. I'm really not too sure. Does it say it on the top there? No, it doesn't say it on the top, but uh, the lady in the chat shop did say it was um, a camping stove. So, yeah, don't know, six quid. I mean, if I can get 20 quid out of it, I'll be fairly happy, and I've made a bit of profit, and I've learnt something. So, yeah, hopefully that should go for 20 quid. It it looks to me like it would. It's a sort of item that would go um, for, for sort of at least that money. Um, I took a punt on two of these for 2 99 each. They are, if I check on the bottom... Don't know how well you're going to see this, but it says classic. You're not going to be able to read that very well, actually. Classic Poo, um, Sharperton, Sharperton, designed by Sharperton China. And I thought, I saw China, and I thought, oh, I don't think these are going to be very good. But um, yeah, these are okay. I think I still want to do a bit more research on them. But uh, it's either one of these is listed or has sold in the US for. Um, quite good money, like 15 quid plus a ridiculous postage charge. Um, and that's just the, the Winnie the Pooh figure there on its own, not the piglet. I don't know, as a bundle, I might... I, I, I don't know, I don't... It's silly to even say a price, I, I haven't a clue what I'm going to charge. Um, I got some files, because I'm coming to the end of my financial year, so I need new folders. Oh, sorry. Bit, bit of a light exposure there. And in town, I got this bucket of soldiers. One sec. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to get this off. Well, anyway, I can't get it off, but it's so full. It's actually so full that even when I shake it, you can hardly even hear any noise because it's just that full. Um, they they aren't all the Disney soldiers though. The Thinkway Toy soldiers. Some of them are like random. I don't know. <sighs> 
what do you call it, like third party ones, so yeah, I, I don't know, I mean, there's still probably going to be about 15 quid in that, I've, I've still got to double check prices and what these are going for now, but I think I've sold these for about 15 quid in the past, so yeah, um, there is a paratroop parachute or paratrooper guy in there which are quite uncommon in these sets a lot of them i've had i mean i've had about uh, must be four five six of these now if not a bit more and all of them have been missing the two paratroopers so yeah i mean it might be a little bit more uncommon to actually find the paratroopers in them but that was that and then i got a bag for 9.99 i got a bag of bionicle lego um there is where is it in there um, yeah, there's a, a, oh, what's that called? I don't know the name of the dinosaur, but, um, it's out of Jurassic World. If it, is it not the, um, oh, what is it called? Oh, no, I don't know. I don't know the name of the dinosaur. I should know that, because I'm, I like my dinosaurs, but, yeah. And then a load of Bionicle. There are some, uh, Transformers in there. Um, that green guy there is a Transformer. Um, and yeah, so, that was nine ninety nine. I'll, see what happens with that um i think i'm i'm you know in profit on that i'm pretty sure um i'm happy with what i've got in there really i've not even looked right through the bag but i'm sure there's going to be some money in that so i did so i sort of took an educated guess of 10 pounds you know at 10 pound um but yeah so that's my little haul You watching the tennis? <laughs> Smiling for the camera. That's the thing I'm going to teach you. To teach you to try and smile for the camera. <laughs> oh, I think she's worn herself out. <laughs> Are you going to say bye to YouTube? Are you going to say bye? No, she doesn't want to. Oh! There she goes, off she goes.